honorable NMSC attendees, dear leaders, please let me introduce myself. As Gavin said, I'm Ivica Alpeza, and today here, I'm here to speak a bit about leadership, about education, and about youth. And all it's addressed on title, Nothing About Us Without Us. So, as Gavin said, I flew all the way from Bosnia and Herzegovina, from where originally I come, here in Boston. A bit about me, what I do when it comes to my formal education is I'm on my master's degree on economy with a focus on management. My master's thesis are especially in the focus of the leadership, in the teamwork, in the sense of the management of non-profit organizations, but in the management of international non-profit youth organizations. What I do beside this, through the seven years engagement with the youth work, youth activism, I passed the path from the School Student Council to the Council of Europe. I had the privilege to be one of the founders of the Association of Secondary School Students in Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is an organization that represents all secondary school students in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Then I passed to ABESU, which is Organizing Bureau of European School Student Unions, namely ABESU, based in Brussels, Belgium, which is a platform for cooperation between national school student unions active in general secondary education and vocational education and training. And what I do now, I'm a member of the Advisory Council on Youth of the Council of Europe, which is a nice organization, which is a nice body that works on the co-management system, which means that we, the youth representatives, sit together with the governmental representatives and we discuss the youth-related matters and we bring decisions that are, of course, related to the youth. So what I do in general, as I said, I deal with youth. The youth is this part when some of you call them kids. But kids that I deal with them is the school students, mostly aged to 14 up to 18 or 19. Then education, but secondary school education. And leadership in a sense of the school, school student education. So what is this all about? It is about the change. The famous quote that you must have been heard about already, which is, be the change you wish to see in the world. But it's not really just a small quote. It's a big act, because the school students can be the stakeholders they, they are. So the main three questions that raises in the work that I've been doing in the previous seven years is, who is youth today? Not kids, young people, important people. Everyone says that the youth is the future of today's society and the world. True, but definitely a bit of false statement. Why? Because everyone constantly keep on forgetting that the youth is also the presence of today's society and the world. So I say, if the youth is the presence of today's society and the world, then it needs to have the place that it de deserves. What is future of education? Today in Boston and these days we speak about innovation, but I say what is important, it's innovation in practice. It's innovation in methods, innovation and learning, and never forget about it. Then time and place for leadership. There are many theories saying that there's the right time and place for leadership, how to become a leader. Still. There are many indicators, many cases that show, for instance, school students, they are leaders now because they are bringing the changes into education. They are deciding upon their, their education when it comes to the secondary education and the rights that they have. So I would say it's don't just talk about it, it's be about it. This is what I've been doing and this is what I would like to do. So my passion is when they ask me, it's about leaders. It's about the leadership. What does it mean? It's to make a change, make a vision, and to come together with other, with other leaders. So simply, it is walk the talk. How to do it today when everyone thinks that everyone is an expert? I say that the youth is expert in the field related to the youth matters. No matter if we speak about education, or the skills and competencies, or just a simple labor market. How am I going to do it when I get back home? I will hopefully get back home safely to Bosnia and Herzegovina within 15 hours of flying probably. 
I will hopefully enter my PhD studies, and then within these, I will try to make a research on how to support, for instance, school students, how to support young learners, young leaders. And today I ask you, what are you going to do to support youth, young leaders, not kids, important stakeholders in educational, in educational systems? Thank you very much.